Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what we have here is a fiche pump lock, and this is a safe lock version. I will gut it for you in a minute, but I can just show you what's on the inside of this. Is you have that you're going to just see inside all these little levers, and they are levers, they're pivoted at the top here, and they have to be pushed to the exact gate in each of the levers, of which you can see there are seven of them. And if you do that, then this whole thing will turn. Now, it's not easy to do, but once you've really done one movement, so you obviously you pick it and it moves to the next slot and then it all resets and you've got to pick it and then it goes all around 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 basically once you've done one of them you've, you've done them all and I don't intend to pick all the way around and truthfully um, it's not just because of convenience it's because I don't know how many times you'd need to pick this to open it in real life anyway it might need turning 10 times for all I know or even just one position so let's just pick it one position to show that we have the technique down and then we can gut it and you'll see exactly what's inside and it is well, it's a pretty cool mechanism. So this little fiche safe lock is in the vise and I made this tension tool out of some feeler gauge in 1.3 millimeters. So it's a high carbon steel and I'll probably show you this once I've removed the case if I pick it. But the idea is that it hooks in uh, over this outer casing, this hardened steel casing and into the mechanism itself. Now I'm going to pick it with this Sparrows High HD because it's uh, 25 thousandths, it's a pretty sturdy pick because um, I need to put quite high tension on. Now I've got my camera set up in a way which is very unusual for my uh, standard setup so I will try my best to keep all this in focus and in camera the best I can all things considered. Um, it's just that I need to move this around um, quite a bit so that I can access um, the pins at different angles. Like I said, I'll try my absolute best to um, to get this all on camera. Forgive me if it goes out on occasion. Right, let's have a go. So I'm going to start out like this. I'm going to put some tension on. Make sure that there you go. Got some. And you get good tension and a good position. Right, I think that'll do. And what's on, what you need to do is tap the levers. There's a belly on each lever, and again, you'll see this when I gut it. And if it's binding, you push it until um, it goes loose. It shows it's in the gate, and you can tap on it again, and you'll hear a little movement as well. So let's just see. So um, if this is position one, two, three, and one, three. Can you hear that? A little click followed by taps back to one nothing uh, so two nothing now we are on position four click and it's tapping nicely so it's three So it's one, sorry, two, one is binding. Click and I can hear what's going on. Let's go on to pin seven now. Well, pin seven, lever seven. Uh, a little click on lever seven and movement. Just tap, yep, four, three, two, and one. So what I'm going to do is going to turn this around, keep my tension on, like that, and see what's going on on the other side. Easy said than done. Okay, good. So this is uh, lever six now. Uh, 
and now it's loose. So it's going to go round. I think what we've got there is um, lever five loose. Need to swap it all the way back round again. So we can test all our pins, levers. Keep that tension on. And just push that tension it back up a bit if I can. Okay, so test two, fine, three, fine, four, fine. Uh, just try and one is good. Seven needed picking again. Six seems fine. So two, let's try one again. One seems fine. Two seems fine. Three seems fine. Four seems fine. Rotate it around, keep the tension on. Okay, five now. I fell off the lever. It's chest four. So it's all fine. I can feel five binding now. Got to be very, very careful that I don't make sure we get that in sort of camera shot at least. There you go. So I can see that lever. Come on. Try to get it from the other side. Not sure I've got it. Very much struggling to get onto lever five here. Uh, weirdly, sorry, this is a uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's an eight lever. I'm miscounting it. There we go, got it. Don't think I've overset it. Oh, that's better, it's loose now. Oh, and there we go, pick that all the way around to the next position. There we go. Phew, that did take a while. I was slipping off um, with this pick, just slipping off the belly of that lever, but do you know what? That is uh, surprisingly, I know I know it sounds weird, surprisingly quite a, pick, a quick pick for this leave lock. It is really not that easy to do. Um, I think I said there's seven levers. There's clearly uh, eight in there. Let's actually have a look inside. This is actually quite interesting. Genuinely, I think so anyway. And you've got to be very careful when you open this up. got a little uh, pinning tray there to catch any springs so what you have inside here let's take that out is a couple of things one remember these little notches here those are 
the actual um, well you could call them bolt stumps they're almost like um, multiple bolt stumps so the lever levers have gates in which need to align with these upright bolt stumps and essentially the whole thing will rotate through when the levers are all picked to the right position and if I can get a pick in here and show you manipulating that top lever there we go try again you see there there's a little gate in that lever as I'm moving it at the top that's what you've got to do for every single one of these uh, levers. You see there's one there as well. I'm probably picking two at the same time. You see they've all got these gates. So now I'm going to open this up, but be warned if you ever have a go at picking one of these, there are springs in each chamber. And the best way to avoid um, losing all your springs is to rotate this little gap round um, gently each position. Oh. And they may still jump out and get you. So just keep your thumb over there if you can. There we go. And be careful not to, to damage these because I've got no idea where you get fish a uh, safe lever springs from. Oh, another one flown almost past my ear. And once you've got all these out, and by the way, it's a real pain to... um put them back in come here you one more one more one more I think or is it two more two more once you've got all these out then you can oh there's the last one you can then take this off and we can see properly inside now it's easier to see what happens on the inside when I turn it all the way upside down there you go and you can see these awesome 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 little levers and you see that the lever bellies these little bits here and in a um in a lock which you'd have a key a lever lock with a key the bitting of the key would interact with these bellies it's the same with one of these pump locks you don't have the key but you have a key which is um, segmented you push it down and they are pushing down on these lever bellies which are all at different heights so you can see that the lever bellies are all at different heights and the combination of where the cut is on the lever, this gate, and the position of these lever bellies, and the cuts in the key determine how far you actually push these levers out. Because when you push down, you see how they're pivoted on this um, on this ring. But what happens is you put your key in, and the slots align, and you see that you can just push these levers out. And again, all we're doing is we're trying to find the gates here. And obviously that ring here sits in like that. And what you're doing is of course you can't move it until every single lever, all eight levers are aligned to their true gate. There aren't any false gates in here, luckily. And then the whole thing can rotate. It's absolutely just a brilliant, brilliant lock. Absolutely love it. And um, this was kindly actually sent to me by Talon Pick. Um, so thank you so much Talon Pick. Please go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description But this is just a, a beautiful lock And you see how you just have to um, Yeah Pick it all the way around by pushing on these the bellies of each lever As they bind and then the whole pack can rotate around in the bottom housing to each position as it's needed Absolutely brilliant lock. All right. Hope you found that interesting. I really love this lock. It's just a beautiful piece of engineering. It reminds me very much of um, an Ingersoll impregnable a little bit as well. Uh, and anyway, I'll see you all next time.